Welcome everybody, Saltstinger here and in this video I will show you how to sketch creatively using 3D models in Clip Studio Paint. Just open your asset manager and drag a uh, 3D model and the 3D models um, are now pretty realistic. We can change a lot of proportions and yeah, I will check out this later, but the first thing uh, you have to keep in mind is you can either use the um, models to sketch freely, so use them as a reference, and yeah, that is a re very free and independent way to use them, like you would use photo references. And you can also bring in some other photo references if you need some guidance with the muscles for example as I did uh, here in this example you see just for the back muscles um, my main emphasis is to um, tell you that you should use whatever you uh, need to achieve your goal um, and there is no wrong or right so let's um, have a look and another pose. There are a lot of pre-made poses in Clip Studio Paint and they are sometimes quite usable, sometimes a bit awkward in my opinion. But best thing you would uh, do is to turn the opacity of your 3D layer a bit down and turn on the layer color so you have this bluish layer and yeah that helps me a lot in drawing on top of the character so now let's have a look at how we can set our character in scene and create an awesome image we have a lot of options here in clip studio paint like altering the camera lens like the um, field of view um, also yeah the camera position so just turn around with left click around your model, zoom in and zoom out with right click and drag. Also we have a lot of preset angles and they are quite usable. You see the perspective slider gives us a, um, a wide range of results and the lower the perspective value is the more, um, yeah undistorted your image is but it looks a bit boring and the higher the value the more distorted it uh, becomes because we have a linear perspective here it seems a bit awkward so fish islands would be the way to go but anyway there is also the option to have the manga perspective um, you just should check out all the options in object uh, mode for the 3d layer so now I, yeah, you see, I play with the manga perspective a bit. Manga perspective um, adds some dis distortion to the uh, model itself to create the illusion of a more um, curved perspective. And it's a really interesting concept. You should make use of it, but don't overdo it. That's just my tip on this side. So now I um, created a layer on top of it because I like the angle, the camera angle a lot. And I'm just going to sketch a bit over this 3D model. And I, I really um, force myself not to be too harsh with myself or too, too correct because um, we will change the pose um, in the process. So this is a creative process of back and forth. As you can see, I'm, I'm not quite confident in the pose right now. That's uh, what I've later realized. And there's always um, the beauty of going back to your 3D layer and altering the pose. And 
don't cling too much um, onto the uh, onto the three D model because you should just draw things that look right to you. So if the model or the perspective doesn't look quite right, just alter your drawing. You are the master of your artwork. That's always to be or to have uh, to keep in mind. So I'm usually switching off the 3D model to see if the drawing itself makes sense because that's the most important part, isn't it? You want to have a, an awesome drawing at the end and it doesn't help if your 3D model looks cool but your drawing looks stiff. That's what I've um, realized after using 3D models for some time. It's often a bit stiff and that is where um, a drawing skill comes into place. Using 3D models in reference doesn't mean you don't have to have uh, drawing skills. So now I've um, enabled the uh, perspective ruler that is um, attached to the 3D layer and just sketching out something that looks like a room. Yeah, the main benefit of using 3D models, in my opinion, or for my workflow, is to to get a sense of space, um, of the things, um, the position of um, things in space, and all this. So I'm just trying to quickly sketch out some ideas, some room, some some feeling. Now just bring in some other models, turn them around. There are a lot of possibilities to do this. I don't want to go any further here because you can check out some other tutorials explicitly for this. I will link them in the tutorial and in the description. So I've brought in some other models and just used the generic or the the pre-made poses. Um, And as you can see I'm drawing very loosely on top of them. Yeah, I'm just using them as a guide for where things are in space. And you always have to alter and invent the poses by yourself. Otherwise, you will uh, end up with some very stiff um, traced drawings. You see, I've rotated the canvas to have a more um, yeah, neutral look at my models. And I'm going back and forth here, trying out some things. And it just doesn't look right, so I erase, um, not right now, but I just erase and draw on top of it. And if I don't come any further, you see, this is like a combat pose. But I'm not, not quite. Um, quite satisfied with this. So I just um, erase a bit of it and turn on the 3D model and you see I can always fall back to it and use it as a starting point for something new. Also if you alter the head position it makes a lot of a difference. You see, change the arm positions. So, as I said before, 3D models or the use of them doesn't replace drawing skill. So you should always practice to draw um, characters in 3D space. But um, tracing doesn't hurt at some point um, if you know how to use yeah, the underlying uh, 3D image. So I'm quite satisfied with what's going on right now. But I've decided to get rid of the left um, empty part that doesn't bring anything to the story. So edit and canvas and then we can reframe our image. So this is a small time lapse how I proceeded um, using the underlying 3D model. I also altered the head size and put in some other characters. Yeah, I'm I'm working very loose, uh, loosely here. That's just uh, the style I'm drawing in right now, and I'm 
yeah, I'm really relieved that I don't have to cling too much to an underlying 3D model because somehow it's a bit boring. In my opinion, you shouldn't use the 3D models in a too strict manner because um, then you just need 3D models and that's it. There is no drawing ability and no style. So yeah, um, here I resized the line width and I ended up with a really cool sketch. I really like this. There are some parts which need a bit work, but what I wanted to show you is um, or are some more tricks to use 3D models. So let's bring in the 3D models again, as you can see here. and. We want to disable the drawing right now to have a fur, um, more in-depth look. So let's suppose we have this um, setting here with 3D models. Sometimes it's a good idea to just lock the um, camera. You can do this here under um, in the subtool detail palette under allocate and camera and there is this eye icon and then there is the lock icon. now. Our camera is locked and we can mess around with it again. This has some benefits. Um, yeah, and we can now change the characters without worrying about um, changing our camera angle. But there is the all sides view. The all sides view um, provides us with um, four windows, one perspective window, top, front, and a right side view. And in this um, all sides view, we can um, go um, just float around and change our models, the pose, everything without um, altering the overall image of our, um, yeah, of our concept. So what I'm showing you right now is we also have the option to have uh, to just move the camera around. And there is also a look at um, constraint. So um, we can point to a face of a character and move, move the camera around and we always um, yeah, orbit around this point. So there are a lot of possibilities to um, to advance your um, storytelling. So you just uh, you should definitely check this out. But for now, I want to show you some uh, hand poses. We select one hand, and then there is a huge library of hands. This comes in really handy. Um, just um, choose a hand pose that is approximately the pose that you want to have because um, hands have so many limbs or joints it's really tedious to pose them joint by joint so just um, my advice would be to um, if it's not for close up just uh, choose a pre-made pose of the hand and then uh, go with it and solve everything else in the drawing. But um, in case you want to bother with it, there is um, there is a, uh, an option to under pose to um, yeah to pose your hand very um, specifically. We can choose about spreading the fingers. We can also lock fingers. And if you get familiar with this um, system of posing your hand, it's a really cool solution. And yeah, I just don't use it uh, that much because I just tend to solve my problems uh, with the drawing itself. Last but not least, if you want to spice up the proportions of your characters, I advise you to go under body shape and adjust um, the body to your liking. I think you can get really quick uh, results. Um, yeah, and they are quite usable. Another thing I want to show you is uh, 
how you can quickly um, change the lighting of your scene. This is very important because if everything is black, you just can't see how the muscles or the forms are um, on your models. So there's this um, this uh, sphere where you can adjust the lighting and um, now I want to go for a bit more dynamic pose. As you can see it's a really um, it can be a really long process of trial and error. Um, as I told you before I tend to just uh, stick with some pose and then just draw on top of it everything I need. That's already the end of the video. I hope I showed you some new and useful techniques. For me that's the perfect workflow, throwing together some models very quickly and drawing on top of them and iterating, like going back and forth between models and drawing and develop a story very quickly and intuitively. Thank you so much for watching. It was a pleasure. Be sure to check out my Instagram account, The Soul Stinger, and like this video here and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to stay up to date. Thank you so much. Bye.